All right, guys, this whole song is bar chords, but before you start complaining and saying, well, I can't play bar chords, you know what? You can play bar chords. It's not as hard as you think. It just takes a little bit of strength training. So, and the only way you're going to do that is by practicing. It's the only way. So now's your time to practice. The song is in the key of C, and our first chord, coincidentally, is a C chord as well. So you need to bar the third fret. Um, all of the strings except for this low E string here, okay? So bar that, all of those. Then with your little finger, reach up onto the fifth fret of your uh, second string or your B string. Then uh, your middle finger is going to go to the fourth fret of your G string. Ooh, yucky! And then your ring finger is going to go onto the fifth fret of your D string. Okay? So you've got the bar there, and your bar is really playing that C bass note there on the A string. Okay? Like so. C major 7 is the name of that chord. And, um,. While you're strumming it, you can actually hammer on with your little finger. So that means play the chord with your little finger off and then hammer it onto the fifth fret. And that's what's happening in the actual song, all right? But for now, um, it's totally fine just to keep it like that. And we're going to talk about strum pattern a little bit later. Okay, next chord is you're going to move this exact same shape up now. No longer is your bar going to be on the third fret. You need it to be up here on the eighth fret like so okay and then the same thing again little finger can come off okay so that's our intro and the verse as well okay and no I can't sing okay and again So that F major 7 chord. Alright, now uh, we're going to move down to our E minor 7 now. So you are up here on the 8th fret. Now just drop your bar down to the 7th fret and then play an A minor 7 shape above it. Okay, so that would be um, bar in the 7th fret. Then your middle finger is going to play on the 8th fret of your G string. Uh, B string, sorry, your 2nd string. Then your ring finger is going to play on the 9th fret of your D string. Okay, like that. That's an E minor 7. And then go back to your F major 7. Okay, so that's our, this, we're talking about the pre chorus part now. Okay, so it starts on the E minor 7, F major 7, back to the E minor 7 for half the time. Then move that same for E minor 7, move it down one to play. Um, e flat minus seven. Okay, just like that. So if we put that together, the pre-chorus. Okay, and then the last chord of the pre-chorus is going to be this F chord with a G bass. Okay, so to play that is our first finger onto the first fret of your B string. Middle finger is going to play the second fret of your G string. Then, oddly, your little finger is going to play the third fret of your D string. And that way, your ring finger becomes free to play this G bass on the lowest string on the third fret, like so. So, what that is really is, is it's an F chord, but with a G bass. So, when you see F slash G, you know that that's an F chord with a G bass, okay? And this holds for ages. I don't know the words. Sammy J, if he was a tone deaf, would sing like that. <laughs> so let's repeat that pre chorus part. And that's the pre-chorus done. Now we're up to the chorus, and it starts with our C chord. Something in the way that you are at me. And that one is going to be a B flat chord with a C bass. Okay, and to do that, you're just going to lie your finger down across all of the strings. You don't need to lie it across this lower string though, so these five strings will do. Okay. So Okay, then we're going to go up to our F major 7. Heaven in your eyes, heaven in your smile. Then 
back to the, and then it repeats again. Something in the way that you smile at me heaven in your eyes. Okay, and then we're up to that little tagline, I don't know what you call it. Oh if F minor seven. Okay, so that chord is exactly the same as our E minor seven from the pre-chorus, but one fret higher. Okay, so that last part of the chorus is Oh, I never knew love love you. And then coincidentally you go from the F minor seven to the E minor seven just down one fret. That part is, uh, this is a C sharp or D flat diminished seven chord. Okay, it sounds kind of horrible, but when, in the song it sounds like it's beautiful and a good chord to learn. So middle finger onto the fourth fret of your A string, ring finger to the fifth fret of the next string down, then uh, your first finger is going to go to the third fret of the string below that, and then finally your little finger is going to go to the fifth fret of the B string. Okay, so if I'm counting the fret numbers, it goes four, five, three, five. Okay, four, five, three, five. Okay, I forgot which part we're up to. Okay, and then the last part is um, D minor seven. So the same as the E minor seven, but down two frets this time. The bar's on the fifth fret. Okay, that part. So D minor seven. That's the um, F with the G bass. And then the song repeats. So that's the whole song. Now we just need to learn the strum pattern. All right, so the strum pattern we're gonna use for the song is gonna sound a little something like this. Down. So let me explain. We start with the down strum, down, up, slap. And when I say slap, I'm just playing a muted chord. So my left hand pulls off the strings a little bit just to release the tension and make it sound dead. And I'm just strumming this dead chord, okay? And I'm calling it a slap. So down, up, slap, up. And then up even is still muted. So down, up, slap, up. And then up, 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 slap, up, okay? If I put that together, it goes down, up, slap, up, 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 slap, up. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you've got a song suggestion, comment below and let us know what song we can teach you next. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. God bless you. Much love and goodbye.